Hi, good morning and welcome to today's upload. My name's Emma and today's video, me and this one, say hello. Hello. <laughs> we tidy up the drawers in the front room. That's the only time you'll see his face on the camera because the rest of the time he's setting up Ethan's home school because the rest of the time we will just hear a voice in the background because we know he's not a fan of being on camera. So yeah, we've got drawers in the front room. Um, they're really, really big. I explain as to why they're in the front room and not upstairs. Let us know what you think we could do with them. Unfortunately, we can't store them in the garage because anything that's woody, it doesn't last well in the garage, does it, Steve? It sometimes it goes a bit grim. So let us know. I hope you enjoy the video. Um, it's currently Thursday here in the UK and hopefully by the end of today, Sunday, we will have some positive, like, lockdown news i don't know let me know what's happening in your country the kids are running around screaming getting ready for homeschool up there i hope you're well and safe let me know in the comments and i will see you soon bye guys so these are the drawers of doom i think they've probably still got the stuff in that we moved into the house with three years ago so i will show you this is stephen's drawer of doom another drawer of doom for Stephen. Then this is full, I have to be careful, of just bills. Look, the little red book that you have when you have a baby. Oh my gosh, terrible. This is, oh, that's Ethan's actually, he needs to have that. This is like miscellaneous stuff. <laughs> then this is um, a one that I'm hoping, I'm hoping guys to get Stephen involved and get him to clean this out because we are actually getting some new stuff delivered hopefully at the weekend some new drawers so Stephen can move his clothes upstairs go back and check out the vlog where I talk about our clothes situation and this one hey this one doesn't open oh it opened oh, oh. <laughs> I bought these to put our CDs and DVDs in and I must have just got bored. Oh my gosh. Do people even watch CDs? I'm even thinking if we have a, I don't even know if, I, I do have a CD player. But yeah, so that needs sorting. And then, oh my gosh, the bottom one is full of um, computer -y stuff. Oh! Headbands. Oh, Erin, you might be able to have some of these headbands because I'm not going to be wearing them. And random curling tongs and stuff. So, Whew, I'd like to get it really nice and cleared out and tidied. These are these drawers that are meant to go in a bedroom, really. They are. But we bought them with our wedding money. And when we moved to this house, you cannot physically get them up the stairs. I'll show you the stairs. Here are the stairs. You can't bend it round the stairs. We're hoping to paint the. Well, we are going to paint these, but we're going to have to probably get a professional person to come in. You can't get it round the stairs. We tried to get round the stairs. It won't go round the stairs. So they are in the front room. And me and Stephen the other day we were saying, do we like sell them and buy something else, or we really like them? Do we keep them um, for if we move another house? Sorry, Erin's getting a snack out in the bath. <laughs> <laughs> she gave me my drawer of sacks. Or do we, and then Stephen came, Stephen went like this, I know where we can put them. We can put them in Erin's bedroom. And then I said, no Stephen, remember, we can't get them up the stairs. So my plan is to go through the drawers of doom. This is definitely like my moniker, dirty secret, <sighs> full of stuff that I have been just, Ignoring I think I'm gonna start from the bottom upwards um, So we'll start at the bottom and work our way up and then I'm hoping Fingers crossed to get Stephen involved in these three his three because I can't go for his stuff. So <gasps> wish me luck As you can see drawer one is full of like PlayStation games um, I don't know what that is and like plug Merlin passes. Now we haven't had Merlin passes 2016. We do not need these things. Actually, I might put them in the kids' memory boxes. Um, the this I know can go up to Erin. There's loads of bobbles and stuff. We don't need that down here. Plugs can go in the garage. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try this drawer. I think what I'm gonna do is 
get rid of the boxes and keep the PlayStation games and then maybe try and put them in like some sort of holder that makes it a bit kind of slims it down a bit but oh let's go this flower headband I remember wearing in my hair and I was trying to find the picture if I can find it I'll put it on actually this might have been pre maybe pre Facebook days this flower I wore in my hair when I went to Italy when I was pregnant with Erin so that would have been 10 years ago I've not worn it since so I'm not sure why I hung on to it. I've got so many headbands, but I am going to keep all these kind of things. Because if you watch my bathroom organisation, which I will leave below, I have like a fancy dress kind of. And these are good for fancy dresses. So like uh, if you have like a Roman day or sort of 70s or like flower power stuff. So they're quite good. However, that's very tatty. Also, the amount of Merlin stuff I had. Why I've kept on to every pass and everything for... And we haven't had a Merlin house for two years. I do not know. But that is, is what's happened. I just picked out a Blackberry charger. And Erin just went, what's a Blackberry? I haven't had a Blackberry in... I have no idea how long. Blackberry used to be a phone. I mean, it probably still is a phone. It was like the cool phone before iPhone. So, yeah, uncalled for. Drawer one, done and clean. I'm not going to start putting things back in the drawer till I've got everything out so I can work out what I want to go in what drawer, if that makes sense. So drawer one, done. Oh, <laughs> the drawer of shame. These are kids' DVDs, films, and then that's empty. So I reckon we'll do films, kids' stuff, and then CDs. I'm just going to go through these. What a great job. I bet you... Wish you were me? The hell's this? Keith Chegwin, Chegger's Choice. I think Keith Chegger might have passed away, so RIP. It's just, I don't know what to do. I need you to let me know in the comments if I should keep CDs and DVDs. Is this, is this a silly thing to do? Am I being like really old fashioned keeping them all? I need to know what you think, people. This is not normal. And then all of those. I don't know what to do. I'm going to keep the kids ones. I might go through the films ones and then I need to start stick chat Stephen because some of these are his. But I don't know if it's worth keeping all these CDs. I think the kids, obviously the kids films and CDs and like maybe should I go through mine and just chuck films that I'm not really interested in or like I could even make a list and think oh I haven't seen like Under the Tuscans and it's a great film and then I could like put it on my list and I'd be like oh I can find that out on a stream platform and go and watch it there i just don't know what to do yay that was mainly a lot of rubbish and some bits for my office um so we've got that drawer is empty that drawer is empty i mean they're not empty because there's stuff there these three are steven's domain so he's gonna have to go through these but now it's the worst one the worst one of just letters that steven has shoved in here because he didn't want to follow them anywhere. Hey! Stephen is going to be thrilled because I have found an absolute shed load. A shed load of plugs for when we go on holidays. We always are like, we never have enough plugs and then we buy more plugs. There's lots of different plugs here. So he will be thrilled at that. But Stephen is not in my good books because it appears... The drawer that was here, he had just been filling with um, unopened stuff. So that's going to be his job this afternoon. Hey, I got Stephen involved and I just went through this one drawer and I was just like, chuck, treat, chuck, keep, chuck, keep, chuck, keep. So we've got rid of some stuff. We found, we were both thrilled to find uh, a charger, which excited us both. So we've done that one. And now I'm going to go through this one. And he's like, oh no. And I was like, right, we're going to go through it. And we're going to just see what you want to keep. And I actually might transfer the stuff upstairs so it's ready for when the new drawers come. So. Ugh. I'm aware I look very, very bedraggled whilst I'm doing this. But we go, we're doing good so far. 
Um, Stephen is not a fan of um, kind of decluttering, as we can see by the fact that he's got a pile of letters dating back to 2011. He came and I said, do you know what I've just found? I've had, I was like, I found, um, found a whole drawer of letters that you've just been opening and just putting them straight in a drawer, not putting them in a bin or filing them. And he was like, yes. I was like, this is not so, um, in a bit, he's gonna have to sit down and go through those. But actually some of these t-shirts are Disney ones. In fact, a lot of these are Disney ones, so they can go in the Disney drawer. So that's good. Straight away, what's this like? A Nirvana t-shirt. These are obviously all like fancy dress t-shirts. I think he must have worn this. When has he worn a Nirvana t-shirt? What's going on? Who is this man? I'm going to check. I'm going to go through with him. Who is it? Should I put it on? Let's see if he notices that I'm wearing his Nirvana t-shirt. We don't know why he had this. We think it might have been for like a fancy dress. So keep. Yeah. Keep Nirvana. Okay, we can put these in the Disney stuff. Keep yeah. Princess Leia. That's a keeper. So these can be stored away, can't they, for a minute to go to Disney. Keep this black yeah. polo neck. Keep, yeah. Okay. Keep Captain America. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I like this one. I bought you this one, didn't I? So keep Pizza Planet one. Yeah. He's like, yeah. But that'd be good Disney. So the Disney one I'm going to put upstairs in the Disney... Um, Box. Keep blue chinos. Yeah. They're very short shorts. Keep plain red tea. Yeah. Oh no, it's not plain. Hang on, it's not plain. It says New York, Brooklyn. Is that a no? <laughs> Is that a no? Are we keeping it? No, no. It's a no. Yeah. What's this one? Plain. plain. Uh, this this is a, this is for another day, not today, maybe not ever online. But Stephen has problems with just plain t-shirts, don't you? You have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of the buggers, but that's for another. I am going to. No, I know what the answer is, but I think we should chuck this villa top. How old? How old do you reckon it is? Official retro, so it's not when it originally no. came out. Villa. I know lots of you are like, we don't support the villa. Right, so we're going to keep that. And there's some more shorts here. Yeah. Keep those. Okay, right, that's one drawer done. Right, Stephen and I went through his clothes. We have a pile to file away upstairs at Disney. Football tops, a bazillion pairs of shorts. Um, some woolly jumpers. And what's going to happen is they are going to go back in here. But then when the IKEA furniture finally comes... Stephen will have a big wardrobe upstairs, I'll have a big wardrobe upstairs, and we'll both have a big set of drawers upstairs. Huzzah! Stephen, say huzzah. Uh. So, I've put all the kids' CDs and DVDs in one of these box things. I will leave a link. I don't know if you know if you want anything like this. These are, I got these for ages ago from Amazon, like, years ago. And now I'm going to go through, and any DVDs I don't want, I'm going to put aside... None of the DVDs are Stevens. The CDs are, so I have to kind of make sure he's okay with my CD choices. But the DVDs are fair game. If I don't like it, it's gan. I'm sat here eating my lunch, and I was looking at my drawers over there. Now those drawers are also full of DVDs, but they are box sets. So what I want to do, and as I'm saying it, I'm so thrilled that I could rip all my skin off. I'm gonna take the DVDs out of there, put them in there, hopefully get everything in there, and then have that. Candle drawers. <laughs> <laughs> could you imagine? Candle drawers. Whew. Oh, here are my spring scents. Hang on, let me just get one out. That's the plan, it might not work, but I'm gonna carry on. And I'd like um, extra thumbs up if you just, have enjoyed this one piece of hair. Okay, I've put all my CDs in here. There's Stephen's pile to check through. And I am gonna be strict and make him put them back in this. That's my plan. That's my plan, guys. 
la 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 la. This has taken me a long time, but it's finally done. And I broke a nail whilst I was doing it, but that's okay. Right, let's go through the drawers. We've got the top drawer now is Stephen's like plugs and um, cufflinks and stuff. But when we get the drawers upstairs, this will go upstairs. And then here, he's got a few t-shirts and his little weights. This is probably, I would say, 4% of his t-shirt collection. I have no idea why he has these ones downstairs, but that's right here. And then this drawer, I have put all our kind of like instruction booklets to things in the house, just so we know where they all are. Steve went through the bills and everything. And look how less is in here now. So that's really, really good. This drawer has got, I mean, I don't know why I'm whispering because he's not here, but Stephen likes to arrange his clothes his own way. So we have shorts with woolly jumpers and I've rolled them up all nicely. So I did say when we get the, when we get the new drawers and the wardrobes, I will happily help him. He does not like getting rid of clothes. He simply does not like getting rid of them. If I get rid, I mean like donating them, he just doesn't. He would happily have five of the same jumper. I mean, but it is what it is. So I will gently persuade him. I remember once going through all of his t-shirts. I, I, I mean, 40, 50, 60, 70 t-shirts. And they're all just the same. Like he'll have six plain red t-shirts, but baby steps. I think he kind of got rid of about five things. That's good. Good Stephen, well done. I'm saying that he won't watch this video, but I'm putting it out into the universe. So here we have, all the plugs we found. Stephen was thrilled when I showed him his plugs. Then I've got the Play, PlayStation 4 games and then like the Lego thing. I don't know what it is, but I didn't want to get rid of it. I think that goes with one of the games. And then like just remotes and things to go with it. And then just a few comedy DVDs here. And then down here, I have got um, a folder with kids DVDs and CDs in, a folder with our DVDs in, a folder with my CDs in. Stephen's still got to go through this pile, he'll do that later. And then just some more DVDs. These, these are not drawers we go in very often. It's just somewhere to keep them. And then over here, my phone's on charge because Erin's got a, um, a little FaceTime with her friends in six minutes. So the bottom two drawers have got some DVDs. We've cleaned the drawers, we took them outside, they were really dirty. And then these drawers have got candles in, winter candles. These are like summery candles. Sadly, they don't fit the tall Yankee candles in, but I've fitted quite a lot. They're really good for the Bath and Body Works one and the DW Home ones from Home Sense and um, medium Yankee candles. Huzzah! Oh. I'm absolutely, really exhausted, but happy, so that's good. So there we go, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. We managed to get rid of four of Stephen's tops, but when the wardrobe comes and the drawers come, two wardrobes, two sets of drawers, which I've been talking about now for weeks, hopefully Stephen will let me do similar again and we can sort through his 50 plain red t-shirts, 35 plain green t-shirts. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and um, I will see you very soon. Bye guys.